Hello, my name is Olaf Rober and I'm responsible for CAT Viewer software at Digital Test. This presentation is about how uh, layout viewer and schematics viewer can be used in uh, electronic manufacturing. The first use case what we can see here is um, the test program development. Um, we see here on the top left side the debug window of the site software. The site software is the system software on the MTS test equipment. We can see here that there is component R30 currently under debugging. We see here the measurement and the schematics viewer and the layout viewer can be called from this debug window. When uh, the layout viewer is opened, um, automatically the component which is currently in the debugging uh, is highlighted. So it is visible on the PCB layout. Um, this graphical view was uh, enhanced by the photo of the PCB which can be taken from an AOI, from a scanner or even a hand camera can do that photo. The schematics viewer on the bottom right side also display the component which is currently in the test and the schematics you are allowed to assign nets to test buses A, B, C, D, E and F bus um, just by mouse click and uh, the test program will be updated then with this assignment so by this way it very easily uh, guarding pins and uh, uh, sense points can be defined by a click in the schematics viewer and this functionality we call it interactive debugging speed up the test program development dramatically another use case is the design collaboration what do we mean by design collaboration in the PCB design department the CAD data will be uh, created and can be sent to the ceiling DTM software where um, the process preparation takes place. A first step in the process is to verify the PCB design if it is testable, if uh, the nets can be accessed with uh, ICT probes or flying probe methods and uh, this um, verification result can be given back to the development department. That um, it can be a simple report, but it also can be an interactive reporting and highlighting by the CAT viewer. I will show that in the next sheet. Another possibility is uh, the redesign verification. This means there is already a fixture for a PCB and then a new PCB revision uh, is created. So some modifications on the PCB are done and uh, the ceiling software can then identify if this existing fixture still can be used with the new PCB or if the PCB um, does not fit and needs to be uh, reworked. So this information can be feedback by the software and the CAD department. The CAD engineer can then open the CAD viewer and here see the CAD viewer and in the CAD viewer it has this interactive um, reports where he can see oh there is a net which is non-adaptable and he see then all the components which are connected to this net and then he can uh, see there is a test point, the test point is covered and uh, he can click on the, this uh, pin and see directly where this is on the uh, PCB layout. Um, he has full access to all the information. Here is the bird's eye view which is then highlighting the zooming area which represent here this uh, um, view area is here available so very easy to to find where the problem is um, there is a kind of communication with this uh, sticky notes which can be added by the um, by the test engineer as well as by the cat engineer 
Here is the project folder available where you can see this is the report he wants to look at. He can open it or redesign report, testability report, everything is available. So the uh, design engineer can directly see where he can um, improve the design that the people on the production floor have the best possible test coverage. So design collaboration with um, the layout viewer, very good. Another possibility is uh, to use the um, layout viewer is the first sample assembly check. So when the first prototype of a PCB is assembled, this can be done automatically or manually assembled, um, then the layout viewer can be used, you can say display the same part number and all the components with the same part number will be then highlighted and here it's in, uh, the information, the component and the uh, part number of the component is available and uh, the um, person who make the assembly check has a very good support to identify assembly mistakes. Another use case is uh, the fixture maintenance. In case fixture um, has some contact problems, the PCB contacting is not so good, the fixture needs to be maintained, needs to be reworked. How to find problem spots on the fixture? The fixture layout can be displayed by the graphical view here. All the pro properties are available, like the channel number, the head type, the diameter and all this information, I it on the top side or on the bottom side, is here available. And uh, for example, a nail is broken, it's not clear what nail needs to be put on this uh, spot. Uh, this information is here online, on the computer, on the laptop of the maintenance engineer. And uh, no need to have any paperwork and uh, things like this. So all this information is online and available and up to date. The next important using of the CAD viewers is in the quality department where they need to see what uh, is the test coverage for example. How do we test the PCB? What do we test? What don't we test or what do we test partially? Um, this can be displayed on the assembly view with different colors. Green components, for example, are fully testable components. All is fine with them. When there is a defect, um, the test method will find it very good. Uh, these components are not tested and the orange components are just partially tested, maybe as a cluster like we can see here then also in the circuit diagram here on this net we see there is no nail the circuit diagram can be enhanced by displaying the fixture information here we see then this blue uh, labels these are the fixture needles and here on this net there is no needle there is probably no test point um, so these components cannot be tested very accurate, but they can be tested as a cluster. So maybe we have here a nail, we have here a nail, so we test these two components as one component. So this um, uh, documentation helps to um, see where the PCB is not 100% testable, so that there are other test methods like EOI, or a functional test can be introduced to test these PCBs. Another use case is the PCB analysis. Um, we see here uh, a very crowded um, workplace. What is here? A lot of electronic equipment to measure and a lot of paperwork. And this paperwork, this can be bill of materials, this can be data sheets, this can be a circuit diagram, this can be printouts of the assembly um, diagram. 
and uh, so all this makes it very hard to um, to keep up to date when there are changes. Uh, very difficult to find the right paper. So all this paperwork can be replaced by just one monitor where the graphical view of the PCB is available with the layout, with the circuit diagram, with the belonging data sheets. And uh, the uh, viewers with the search and find functionalities um, very easy and fast to operate. Now a very classical use case of the software is the repair workstation at uh, the PCB repair. Um, the problem spot, the defect will be highlighted in a very easy and fast way. So the repair person knows directly where the error is located. Um, in case of uh, a short, there is a short detector between two nets. Here we see the two nets which have a, a short detected by InCircuitist, for example. The software automatically um, highlights the areas where a short can be on the PCB because there are the tracks or the paths uh, within a certain radius. And uh, this uh, short display and short location estimation and calculation um, helps especially when there is a short against a net against the ground or VCC because those power nets are very uh, much spread over the PCB and then a uh, defect location can be uh, very difficult to find. And as usual we see here in the bird's eye view the zooming area very clear so that when you zoom in as a repair operator it's uh, very easy to find where you have to look on the real PCB. So the repair workstation uh, benefit a lot from the layout viewer. Then uh, another uh, strong functionality of the CAD viewers is that they have a COM interface. With the COM interface it's uh, um, very easy to establish a connection from third-party software, maybe from a, a traceability or another self-made um, quality uh, assurance software to connect to the CAD viewers. So um, with this interface uh, the viewers can be remote controlled, they can be called that they start up that they load a certain project, that they load a certain circuit diagram and display in the layout or in the schematics a component, a component pin or a net or display a short on the PCB. This uh, COM interface is a bi-directional interface so uh, the viewers can be remote controlled to send commands to the viewer, but when there is an action inside the viewer, like uh, the operator select a component or a net, that this selection will be also sent to the interface, so for further processing in a traceability solution, for example, um, the problem spots can be captured. So it's a very strong and uh, very much functions in this interface, which uh, can be easily uh, introduced and programmed with any .NET uh, programming environment. So the summary of the CAD viewers is that um, the CAD viewers can be used in the test program development at, for any tester and when it is a uh, digital test, MTS tester uh, with this interactive debugging to make uh, um, guarding points or sensor points um, definition in the circuit diagram. Design collaboration um, that uh, the CAD engineers and the test engineers can exchange information via the CAD viewer very easy and very straightforward. And uh, the next is that uh, the assembly checks for the first sample can be um, benefit by the graphical view. Fixture maintenance with all the fixture information with also not only the fixture nails 
and uh, also the pushers and PCB supports, tooling pins, everything of the fixture is inside the data available and help to uh, speed up the fixture maintenance to have up and running fixture. The quality assurance highlight uh, test coverage and test methods in the graphical view of the PCB layout and also in the circuit, circuit diagram in the schematics. For PCB analyzers, the strong viewers with the bill of material information, the data sheets, the circuit diagram and of course the PCB layout um, will replace a lot of paper uh, on the analyze station. The repair workstation um, uh, helps uh, get help by the um, layout viewer, for example, this uh, short, but also, of course, when you have functional test found for, uh, faults, which uh, um, can be easily found then also in the circuit diagram, which is also interactive. And uh, the two viewers, they have a communication. Communication to external software, to third-party software, to self-made software with the strong COM interface, which is a standard functionality of those CAT viewers. So thank you very much for your interest in this uh, product and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.